Disney's private island Castaway Key is amazing, and it is a highlight of any Disney cruise sailing out of Florida. Hey everybody, this is Jack with Iconic Adventures. Join me as we tour all the public spaces on Castaway Key, Disney's first private island in the Bahamas. In a shift from Disney's typical high-energy theme park vibe, Castaway Key is remarkable for its laid-back natural beauty and opportunities for relaxation. But don't worry, there's plenty of stuff to do on the island for all ages and activity levels. As we approach the island, I want to point out this rock breakwater that's parallel to the shore. It does a great job at blocking the waves and keeping the water really calm on the beach. This small harbor right next to the dock is where you'll go for your excursions that use a small boat. As we look over the island, you'll notice that it's very long and spread out. This helps to thin out the crowds and enables everybody to get a lounger close to the water. This fenced-in area in the water is where you can swim with stingrays. We like to get off the boat as early as possible to make the most of our day because the island is so great. As you leave the boat, there'll be a spot to pick up towels. You can get as many as you need for your family. And then it's just a short walk to the tram station. If you don't want to take the tram, you can walk. There's a really great sidewalk that's going to offer you some nice views. It's probably about a half a mile walk to get to the first beach. The developed part of the island is about two miles from end to end, and this tram will take you anywhere you need to go if you don't want to walk. And there's plenty of signs along the way to help us not get lost. Mount Rustmore is just one of many great photo opportunities on the island. In true Disney fashion, Disney has created a fictional backstory to help explain how Castaway Key was developed. This first beach is the place to go for water activities such as paddle boating, paddle boarding, and kayaking. It's also where you would swim with the stingrays. And the castaway theming is pretty much all over the island. The post office is real and offers a postmark that's unique to the island if you're looking for an interesting souvenir. If you are mailing something, be patient. Island mail is pretty slow. The next beach area is Family Beach, and this is probably the most popular beach on the island. The sand is extremely soft, and the water is quite shallow near the beach. And this platform in the water offers a number of rope activities where the kids can try to climb across the water without falling in. And just a little bit further down the beach, Disney has created a great area to go snorkeling in. Disney has put a number of statues and other artifacts for you to find while you're snorkeling. And this peninsula is a great spot to watch the people snorkeling, get some nice views of the ship and the beach. This peninsula has a large deck with a lot of seating as well as a bar. And on the other side of the peninsula we've got another beach as well as the Pelican's Plunge. This is the water slide that the kids absolutely love. You do have to take a short swim to get out to the platform where the water slides are. And there's also a splash area with a giant water bucket that'll get you drenched as you're getting ready to get on the slide. Expect the line for the water slide to be pretty short in the morning, but it can get pretty long in the afternoon. And further down from the Pelican's Plunge water slide, we've got more beach area. And here we can even see a couple of people parasailing. And there's the pelican plunge, water slide, as well as the ship in the background. We found a great spot overlooking the snorkel area and the ship to spend the day. Disney has a special area for kids. Scuttles Cove is for ages 3 through 10. There's a playground, activities, and lots of counselors to ensure they have a safe and great time. Spring Leak is a splash area for the little ones. The 
The teens also have their own special area called the hideout, and true to its name, it's actually a little hard to find, so you'll need to look at a map to make sure you know where you're going. There's a deck that offers sun and shade, lots of fun seating, you've got games such as foosball, ping pong, connect four, there's beach volleyball and beach soccer, and there's some hammocks in the shade. The In the Shade Pavilion is open for all ages and offers a number of games that you can do to get out of the hot sun. There are some pool tables and some giant checkers. Connect Four, Ping Pong, Foosball. Giant Chess and some basketball hoops that are set up to let the ball come straight back to you. Cookies Barbecue and Cookies 2 Barbecue are the primary places to eat on the island. They each offer pretty much the same menu. There are drink stations, including soft drinks, nearby, and plenty of covered seating. In our opinion, the food is okay, but not great. And it's certainly not as good as the food on the show, so it is a little bit disappointing in that regard. But it's definitely not bad, and if you're hungry, it's definitely going to do the job. Of course, the ice cream stations are popular for all ages and sizes. There are a few different bars spread out across the island. Here's the Conched Out Bar. It's located just behind the family beach. The Heads Up Bar is located on the peninsula between the snorkel area and the Pelican Plunge. And then the sand bar with its sandy floor, it's located near the Pelican Plunge on the far end of the family beach area. Because the island is so spread out, Disney was able to create their own 5K road race on the island. The start is located near the bicycle rental area, the course is marked, and you'll get this completion medal for doing it. Here's that bicycle rental area. Because the island is so big, there are quite a few different areas to explore, and the bicycles are a great way to do it. Before Disney developed the island, there used to be a working runway. Now it's used as a road to get from one end of the island to the other, and to incorporate some of the theming for the island. Located just off the runway, and incorporated as part of the 5K course, you've got a nature trail. The nature trail features a number of interesting props along the way and eventually heads back to a large observation tower that you can climb and get some really nice views of the island and the ship. There's even a spot to park the bicycles as you go up to the top of the tower. On the top of the tower you'll really get an appreciation for how much of the island has been left in its natural state. On a nice day like today there really are some great views. You can even see some of the bicyclers getting their exercise. The 5K path is essentially from the bicycle depot to the runway, to the nature trail, back to the runway, to the end of the runway, coming back towards the bicycle depot on the runway, you do the nature trail again, back to the runway, and then back to the bicycle depot for the finish. At the very end of the runway, we have Serenity Bay. Serenity Bay is the adult-only beach area. And Disney really does do a good job at providing opportunities for the adults to get some breaks from the kids. But probably the highlight of the Serenity Bay area is the fact that their food is better than the food at the other end of the island. During peak times, the line, like it is now, can be pretty long. 
but the food is better, including steak, ribs, and burgers that you're getting hot off the grill. Castaway Air is the bar in the Serenity Bay area. It has a nice deck right on the beach overlooking the water. And again, a Serenity Bay is adults only, so no kids in this area. But as you can see, it's not crowded at all and there's plenty of seating with umbrellas along the beach. Behind the beach here, we can get a glimpse of some of the cabanas. These are pretty pricey in my opinion, but if you're interested, they are available for rent. And it will certainly give you more opportunities for privacy and shade. Cabanas are also available in the family beach area. And from the beach in Serenity Bay, there's another nature trail that heads on down the island. It's a good place for a walk or a bike ride, and not that many people make it this far. But if you do make it that far, you will be rewarded with a nice view of the ocean that's probably going to be all to yourself. And looking to the left in the distance, you can see Serenity Bay. And of course, heading back to the main part of the beach, there are some shops where you can get some Disney-themed Castaway Key merchandise. And you can even get married on Castaway Key. Disney will do all the coordination. All you have to do is show up with your special someone and your friends and family. And after a great day on the beach, it's time to head back to the ship. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you or obligate you to anything, but it helps us out a great deal by making our content easier to find on YouTube. This is Jack with Iconic Adventures. Until next time, enjoy the adventure.